Yo, what's good everyone? So a few years ago, I made a video about my take on Paper Towns and what I learned from it. And if you want to see it, it's down below, but I'm letting you know I sound a lot younger and it's a little cringy. But if you want to watch at your own risk, go for it. But I already gave you that cringe warning. Basically in that video, I was talking about how I learned that in the movie, people come and go. And for those who don't know, Paper Towns is a really great movie that came out six years ago. And there's a book about it written by John Green. It's pretty popular, but not everyone knows about it. I highly recommend checking it out, regardless if it's the book or the movie. Just check it out, it's pretty cool. And now, I'm making another video about it again because I definitely want to update how I feel about it now. And I recently made a Facebook post about it. One of life's most common mistakes is that you love someone for the idea of them, not actually for who they really are. And a scene from Paper Towns has a perfect example to this. Margot, I'm in love with you. And the Margo was like, you're in love with me? I don't even know who I am. And you're in love with me? That goes to show that Margo is insinuating to Quentin that he only loves Margo for the idea of Margo, not actually for who Margo really is. And Margo herself doesn't even know who she really is. After all, they haven't been really talking to each other in high school. They only met in elementary school and yeah, things drifted apart. And then had that one fun night in their senior year and then all of a sudden, Quentin falls in love after Margot leaves, and boom, Quentin took that one night hang out with Margot as in, oh my gosh, it's a great indicator that Margot is an amazing person, I fall in love with her, she's the one, and then all of a sudden it wasn't because that was just an idea that Margot was giving out to Quentin, not actually a real whole representation of Margot's personality. And what this side lesson implies for the whole lesson that I'm trying to tell you all today is that it's okay to feel lost. It's okay to not know who you are. Let me ask you all this. In middle school, were you the same person as you were in elementary school? Hmm. In high school, were you the same person as you were in middle school? Okay. And in college, were you the same person in high school? And let me ask you this. After your four years being a college graduate, are you gonna be the same person as you were in your freshman year of college? Think about it. Seriously, think about it. I definitely don't judge for those in my generation that aren't going to college because what if they really want to find themselves? Just as Margot ditching the rest of her senior life going up to New York to find herself, <laughs> Paper Towns, that's her fighting for herself. It's, it is brave to admit that you are lost and therefore you can find yourself because in order to find yourself, you have to be lost. And that's what I've learned. And will there be more lessons I'll learn from Paper Towns? Absolutely. And I think what Quentin from Paper Towns can take away from Margot is that he himself can explore what's around him. Hey, he learned a lot on the way when he was driving from Florida to New York when he was going to see Margot. And his journey continues. And as I said from a video a few years back, people come and go. And I'm starting to see a connection. Again, as a YouTuber, I try to keep it real with y'all, so if this was a little bit clumsy, please forgive me on that, but hopefully, 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 you take something out of this video, and if anything, I'll summarize it, is that a few years ago, I made a video about Paper Towns, about how people come and go, and now my perspective changed on it, adding more to it, as in don't fall in love with the idea of the person, rather fall in love with who they actually are, and then that goes with the entire big lesson is that it's okay to feel lost. And that way you can have the bravery to actually find yourself and get to know who yourself is. Because again, when you're in middle school, were you the same person when you were in elementary? When you're in high school, were you the same person in middle? And when you're in college, were you the same person in high school? Think about it. Because this world is really a paper town. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video again. If you found this video very interesting, then please give it a like. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, please comment it down below. And if you want more Paper Town Edition videos, then please subscribe. Otherwise, go find yourself, and then this society can be fixed. Yeah, go find yourself, because this world really is a paper town. Thank you, John Green.